Let's work on our rotator cuff health with these screwdrivers. Grab a light dumbbell. I'm using 10 pounds here, but you can go even lighter to start off, especially if you're currently experiencing rotator cuff pain. Lie on your back, hold that dumbbell up at arm's length, and keeping the arm vertical, you're going to slowly rotate clockwise, then counterclockwise. Now it's easy to miss this here, but I want you to focus on the direction in which your elbow is pointing. Some people, especially when they've got inhibited rotator cuffs, they will tend to rotate through the wrist and that will disguise a lack of movement coming from the shoulder. When you do this guy properly, you're really going to start to feel um, even your shoulder blades, your scapula will start to move around a little bit on your back. If you can complete this guy with a good um, amount of control, then you can progress to a side-lying screwdriver, which you'll see up next. You're just going to rotate onto your side, again reaching that dumbbell up vertically towards the ceiling. Get comfortable with your head uh, and turn so that you can see what's going on up there. Keep your eyes on the dumbbell and go through that same clockwise then counterclockwise motion. So long as you're pain free, you can really push for the maximum range of motion that you can find.